What's going on, guys? And welcome to the MLB Career Simulation of Spencer Torkelson, baby. The first overall pick of 2020 has officially made his debut, and we're going to be simming his entire career from beginning to end. If you guys are excited for it and want to see other career simulations on Bobby Witt Jr., Julio Rodriguez, and other guys like that, then be sure to hit, I don't even know, 1,500 likes for today's video. If you guys hit that, we'll go ahead and work on some more of these. I cannot wait to do this, though. Let's go ahead and load this thing up and get to it. The 2022 Tigers lineup looking like Victor Reyes, Robbie Grossman, Javi Baez, Austin Meadows, by the way, which is a great addition this entire team we did an entire rebuild a couple days ago on the tigers and it went very very good especially with austin meadows on this team now so after this video be sure to check that video out because it was an absolute banger baby but starting at first base for the 2022 tigers the entire subject of this whole video our boy spencer here today a potential 74 overall can play third base left field center field and right field at 22 years old the hitting attributes are there he has the potential right here to win multiple mvps which is going to be insane if that actually happens i'm super hyped to get this thing going normally for our cruise simulations we normally take a step back since it is his career i do not want to make any decisions for him he's going to be deciding quite a few things in his career where he wants to sign or if he's going to sign back with the tigers those are two gigantic ones if he wants to get traded i'm sure that's going to happen with the cpu and things like that or he could just be like the new miguel cabrera of detroit and just be a tiger for a long long time we're about to see what happens in this so be sure to stick around the cpu's taking over the management cpu's taking over trades free agency and the contracts so if the game really wanted to we could have spencer torkelson on the yankees by year two let's see how it goes again the guy's 22 years old i'm expecting to go until he retires let's see how long that's going to take and let's see what he can actually get along the way for the first season we're going to be stopping at the all-star break because i want to see if he's actually going to make it in his rookie year and then from there we're just going to keep going and going and going and going and see what happens along the way literally one minute later and there's zero freaking shot already it's been two months it's july of 2022 and the rays already trade for spencer torkelson and ironically my favorite freaking team gets spencer detroit why literally why i guess they're not viewing torkelson as a long-term thing that's the first trade they've made all of 2022. And now they got the second one the same day, trading Alec Mills for Victor Reyes. Well, for July 5th, I wasn't expecting this, but we got to change teams now. Torque ain't on the Tigers no more. I've done two career simulations. I did Wander Franco last year. I also did myself last year. And trades did happen, but nothing that quick. I mean, at least Spencer's going to be on a contender immediately, but still, that is crazy to me. Well, let's see where the heck he fits in the Rays lineup. We got Randy Rosarena, got Yanni Diaz, got Wander Franco. There we are. Oh my God, wait a minute. Wander Franco and Spencer Torque something in the same team is something I didn't even think of just yet. It didn't even pop up in my head that we got two potential MVPs on this team. But Wander doing great. Brendan Lau, not so much. A 195. What is this? The postseason, bro? Come on. G-Man doing great as the DH. And then Torgelson not the best for his rookie season. Again, we are only halfway through his rookie season though, so we could definitely turn this thing up. Let's see how the heck the Rays do now. I can guarantee we're not going to make it in the All-Star game, so let's just go ahead and get past year one and hopefully get to the playoffs. Somebody's got to fire the GM of the Tigers immediately. This dude's on all kinds of drugs. They're giving a Jamer as well for Simon. Like, they're trading away all the young guys, like every one of them. And then Justin Verlander going back to the Tigers for Akil Badu. Yo, Lil Caesars, dude, fire the guy. What are we doing? That's actually crazy. Either way, right now in the race, we got 82 wins before September even starts. Starts. Let's go ahead and get straight to this postseason. And here we are. Unfortunately, the Tigers, 70-92. What a surprise. I seriously believe they have a real shot at making the wild card this year in real life. But again, for some reason, the Tigers jam in this game just punted all of that away. But for the Rays right here, we take our division by a game. Oh my goodness. Now let's hope the Torkelson can be doing just a little bit better from when we last saw him. Let's take a look. Wander killed it. What about Torque? And very, very good. Okay. A 263 with 21 bombs for his rookie season. Not bad at all, baby. If we check the awards, we got Mike Trout winning the MVP. Look at this dude. Hold Holy crap. The Cy Young going to Shohei Otani. Again, Mike Trout for the batting title. What about Rookie of the Year, though? Did we get it? And Wander Franco got it. I am still happy. Again, Rays fan. But come, it's a Torgelson crew simulation. I would have loved for Spencer to actually take this one. But hey, it is what it is. We are still helping the team tremendously. So I think it's okay. Let's see how the heck we do in this postseason. All right, let's get it going. The Rays going to be taking on the Yankees in the ALDS. Oh, the rivalry. The freaking rivalry. Game one, Glass now. He's back versus Luis Severino. Lost that one by two. Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay. Shane McClain, Hammers, Jameson, Tyon. Lost that one as well. Already a quick 0-2. And then Corey Kluber versus Garrett Cole. Yikes. That was terrible. That was sad. A three-game sweep already? We go out in the ALDS again. That's actually so terrible. We got Wander not doing good. We got Brandon Lau somehow killing it. And then Torgelson, please tell me. Please. 250 out of 12. 
it is what it is. We'll take it. That really does suck, though. In 2022, the Dodgers win another World Series. But, dude, that would have been so nice for Torkelson to get his World Series ring in the first season. Like, what the heck? Especially with the blindsiding trade that happened in July. Now, let's hope that Torkelson's at least on the team for 2023. Here we are in the race for year two. They've made a couple different decisions that I wouldn't necessarily make, but I guess they are. We got Lorenzo Kane in the outfield for this one, and we also got Willie Calhoun as the DH. But, hey, it's time to get the year started with the Rays. Our first full season with the Rays. Let's see what the, the team can do as the Tigers are also trading Miguel Cabrera. I'm done with the Tigers. I'm done. Let's get to the All-Star break and hope that Torkelson's going to be there. Today is the MLB All-Star game. Let's see if our boy Spencer Torkelson has made it. Come on. In year two, it'd be amazing. Come on. And Jared Walsh is the starting first baseman. What about on the bench, though? We still got a chance. We got Frank, but it's not looking like it. That's unfortunate, but Frank the Tank is destroying everybody. Oh, my God. A 330 with 15 bombs. He's on the Twins now for some reason as well. He really didn't have to go that hard. Holy. Speaking of going hard, Mike Trout. 35 home runs, 99 RBIs, and a 366 at the All-Star game. If the AL doesn't win, I'm riding this thing. And the NL won. How the heck did the NL win that? When you got Mike Trout and Shohei Otani plus the rest of the All-Stars, I don't know how the heck you lose. If we take a look at the Rays, again, they're having a tough, tough season. We also have a Vicio Garcia back, which, again, I, I don't know what the Rays are doing, but it is what it is. We got Torkelson doing very, very good. Up to a 79 in year two, has played 98 games so far, and currently has a 2.6 war, way better than last year. And again, just to keep going with the Tigers saga, they get rid of Javi now. At the trade line right now, this year is looking very, very rough for the Rays. We are 51 and 56. It is not looking like we're we're gonna be making a run here. I don't see us making the postseason this year, which sucks because the AL East is always electric, especially when the Rays are in it. Let's see what that happens with this team to end off the year. The Tigers did terrible, and we finish off 84 and 78. I'm not gonna say that we barely missed it because, again, the AL East is disgusting, but let's see what happened. The Guardians taking the Central, by the way. What the heck? Past all that, what the heck? The East, we have the Jays winning 104, and that's it. So they just went out and owned everybody. That's good to see. All right. And we were three and a half games out from the wild card this year. Again, sucks that ended like it did. Did, but how did Torque do? He's an 81 overall now, and there we go, baby. Slowly building up the stats, an 81 overall now, 24 home runs, 90 RBIs pretty much, and a 280 out of the entire 162. Also, he played a lot more games than last year and only struck out two times more and walked a whole lot more as well. Those are the type of improvements that go under the radar quite a bit. Let's take a look at this war. I'm guessing it's going to be in the threes or maybe the fours. Come on, baby. And it's going to be a 3.9. We'll take that right there. He also, for the first time in his career, has a walk percentage of almost 12 and a K percentage of under 20. That that is crazy. I'm loving that progress. Let's see what that wins in 2023. Gonna be the White Sox beating the Cubs. Are you freaking serious? The White Sox and the Cubs in the World Series. I can see the White Sox making that World Series. The Cubs in 2023 going back. Hey, good for them. I can't really talk smack about it. Good for them, baby. And it went to game seven too. Look at that, bro. Dylan Tease with an eight year Ray won it. Oh, and the Cubs had a 3-1 lead. The Cubs actually had a 3-1 lead. Guardians fans probably going nuts on LB Twitter after that. The amount of garbage that they had to go through with the 3-1 talk. Oh my God, they're gonna be spewing out the mouth. 2023, the Hall of Fame inductees is Albert Pujols. Let's go. That is officially it for that year. Let's go ahead and see how the rest of the boys do. Let's see what happens in this offseason, by the way. Rays, I need you to spend just a little bit of money, baby. That's really it. Come on. Not a lot, but okay. Manor's showing that they got the big freaking nuts. Otani, 11 years, 370 million might as well be. Hey, the Mariners going to be gross next year after that. Matt Chapman going to the Angels, another third baseman that they really don't need. Get some pitching for the boys. Thank you, Angels. Holy crap. And then Jack Flaherty for some reason going to the Tigers. I, I don't know. Let's just get into 2024. Torque, opening day of 2024. This is the time that we take the MVPs, all right? This is the beginning. He's had two years of seeing MLB pitching, improving every single year. As long as our boy stays healthy, this is where I need to hit the 40 plus home runs and the 300 plus average. Year three's the time. Let's go ahead and lead this team back to the postseason, all right? Let's go. And the Tigers are back. Guys, what are we, like, why do I have to keep saying every single time that Tigers come up. What are we doing? But seriously, what are we doing? I was so excited to actually see what the Tigers could do, but they have literally gotten rid of everybody good. Like they still got a few like Casey Mize and everybody like that, but bruh, Spencer, Javi, Akil Badu, Austin Meadows now all gone. I have to see how the heck they're doing. How are we doing? And of course, in last place and 28th overall, what a surprise, dude. What a surprise. They literally just wanted to suck again. They had everything lined up and ready to go. And they really did just choke so hard. Either way, here we are. The Rays right now are still doing a lot better than last year. The home run derby, at Ricky Henderson Field. Okay. We got nobody that is going to be on our team here. Okay. Let's hope the Torque's going to make it this year. Again, year three. This is the time where we need something big and Vladdy's taking over first base. That seems kind of realistic. The bench though, please, please, please. And still no, still nothing. Mountcastle also made it. He's doing a lot better. But bro, that makes me a little nervous. How the heck is Torque? And he's and he's cold and he's already cold. How are we looking, Doc? Don't tell me it's bad. Don't tell me it's bad. It's not all that terrible. But still the average in the home runs has got to go up just a little bit. We're 
making good progress, but year three, I really want to see something. Also, something a little different with year three is that we have three triples this year. 39 speed with three triples. You do not see that pretty much at all. But let's go, Spencer. Keep going, dude. And yo, the race gym has got to do something at this trade line. We're basically 1651. I want to start making it back to the postseason. Like, I don't want the rookie season to be the only taste that we get for the next 10 years. Like, that'd be terrible. So give us some guys to work with as Max Muncy goes to the Cardinals. But give us some guys to work with. Cabrian Hayes going to the Phillies. What the heck? But from what it's looking like, I think the Rays got pretty much nobody. Wait, never mind. Brian Anderson. Hello. Transactions, please show me. Brian Anderson. Okay, we did get him this year. For Stan Felipe, we also got Jordan Luplo as well. If we think the offense is a problem, I'm fine with upgrading it. Let's see how the heck we do after this year. At least get us in the wild card, baby. That's really all I care about. And it doesn't look like we made it in. 88 and 74, and we still couldn't do it. Again, the AL East is too freaking stupid. And we lost the wild card again by three games. Dude, holy that's actually pretty sad. Torque, please tell me you did good. And 13 home runs with a 268. This is actually a gigantic step back for year three, bro. I was hoping to keep building, but he had to be injured at some point. He only played 140 this year. How the heck is the war looking? A 0.9. Oh, no, bro. Also had 14 errors. Did we at least gain some good attributes? Plus two, plus one, minus five to the power. I mean, fielding, we got some good upgrades in, but no, pretty much no. That is extremely disappointing. The Brewers in 2024 take it against the Angels and a another year closed. Oh, and we got a lot of Hall of Famers this year. We got Clayton Kershaw, we got Max Scherzer, and Miggy. Absolute legends. First ballot Hall of Famers right here. Let's go. I'm glad they got inducted. They deserved it. Back to the offseason, though. We deserve to be back in the postseason. So please, let's make some moves. Pete Alonzo, look at that stat line. Going to the Phillies, really? Oh my God, Mets fans. They are so down bad. I'm absolutely positive that Mets fans rather have him going to the Yankees than the freaking Phillies. That's actually going to suck for them. They see him all the time as well. Oh, that's terrible. This is also terrible for us. One Soto on the Red Sox. Somebody please tell me this is fake. Like, it's not real. I'm dreaming or something, right? Like, there's really no way that Juan Soto's on the Red Sox right now. Come on. And they're also getting Freddy Peralta. I'm in a dream world. There's no freaking shot that's real. Oh, and another big loss in free agency. The Rays are going to lose out on Brandon Lau. I mean, we got Bruhan. We still got Curtis Mead and things like that. But hey, that's a gigantic L that we're taking. And also, we've got nobody this offseason. Please tell me somebody's on the roster and it's Wander Franco. And that's basically it. We still got Tor. We got Marco Gonzalez. But wow, that is really it. Besides Gary Sanchez, that's the guy that we decided to get. Oh no, the Red Sox went crazy. The Blue Jays are still gonna be gross. And the Rays are getting left behind. I don't like this. And by the way, it is real. I was not dreaming. We got Juan Soto, Freddy Peralta, Trevor Story, Enrique Hernandez, and Dio Castillo, as well as Marcelo Mayer. Let's see how the Rays do in 2025. Come on. Give us a miracle, coach. Give us something. Back here at the traded line of 2025, we got the Rays at 61 and 50. How we looking and how we feeling? That's the big question. The Rays are sitting in second place. All right, now not terrible. I like that. Now part two of the question on how we're doing and there are a lot of new people here. All right, hold on a minute. Yeah, the Rays have been making a few trades. Oh my goodness. Okay. So they got Max from the White Sox for Taylor Walls. In May, they got Logan Davidson for Luis Patino from the Nationals. In June, they got Steven Duggar for Peter Fairbanks. Why? And in this past week, they got rid of Ford Proctor and Avisio Garcia, but they got Mitch. Honestly, not terrible at all. But we still have traded away quite a few guys for some prospects. Again, that's not exactly what we need at this point. Like they are making some good trades, but we need some guys that are going to win us a World Series now, you know? Let's just hope that the boys are carrying us. Right now, we got Wander Franco doing very, very good. We got Mitch carrying the offense right now, and then Torque doing very, very good. A lot better than last year. I'll take that all day. All right, I'm fine with that. Let's please hold that at least, and they get rid of Brian Anderson. Of course they do. I'm getting to the point where I need Torkelson off the raise. If they're actually not going to build around him or invest and get ready to go, I do not want him on the team. But again, I can't do anything about it. It's what he wants to do. He's going to be coming up on arbitration here soon as the Tigers lose 104 games. Again, what a surprise. And the Rays missed the postseason for the fourth straight year. First off, how did Torkelson do? He's an 85 overall now. That's a lot better. The guy's on fire too. Please show me something good. Please show me 30 or 27 or something. He got 24. Okay, we'll still take it. This year got 33 doubles. Again, 24 home runs, 90 RBIs, and hit a 283. There we are, Torkelson. What about that war, baby? How are we looking with the war? A 2.4. Yeah, the fielding is still not great. 18 errors. Jesus. The next question that I have is how is his contract looking? In 2026, he's got arbitration. And then 2027, he's going to have his first first year for agency. Please pick a good squad. Again, don't get me wrong. I love the Rays. They're my favorite team, but still, we got to do something here with Torkelson. The guy's only 25. We got Juan Franco at 24. We have the team here. We got the World Series squad set. We're just not adding to it at all. But hey, let's go ahead and see what happens. Again, 2025 over with. Let's go ahead and see who wins this World Series. 
It's going to be the Dodgers beating the Blue Jays. 2026, here we come. Let's see what happens. In free agency for the race, we got Steven Matz, and we also got Alex Wood. That's pretty good. Also signed Michael King to a pretty big contract for the Rays. But again, we also lost out on Nick Anderson, Marco Gonzalez, Gary Sanchez, Clint Frazier, Mitch. That just makes me feel worse. 2026, let's see how the heck we do. Possibly the last year for Spencer Torkelson on the race because we are going to free agency very, very soon. And you can't make this up. We're 20 and 51. Let us leave the prison that's in Tampa Bay, please. The only thing that can make this year better is if we actually made the all-star game so come on Torkelson give me that at least it's been a rough couple years just give me the satisfaction that you made it to the all-star game okay we got Vladdy starting at first base but Torkelson maybe on the bench and no Isaac made it to the all-star game before Spencer did more freaking L's dude what the heck is happening the Red Sox are still adding great pieces they got Tyler O'Neill coming over here now and we're just chilling 43 and 67 like it's okay let's finish off the year and get into free agency I have to see where Torkelson's gonna sign and please whatever you do do not sign an extension I love the Rays but don't do it Torque is gonna get paid somewhere else the Tigers and the Rays both finish off terribly Torque, how we looking an 89 overall now come on Torkelson and 31 bombs there we are a new record for our guy also again plus seven plus fours plus sixes i like that what's the war looking like heading into free agency we have a 4.5 there we are baby that is gonna get us paid 26 years old as well all right Spencer, let's go ahead and get past the postseason the blue jays win their first one congratulations actually wait a minute torkelson's going to his sixth year next year why would the contract thing be saying that he's gonna go into free agency this year that does not make any sense and okay there we go 2027 he's in arbitration now all of a sudden it changes so i guess that is my bad but i was told some garbage garbage by over the shell all right torque you gotta suffer another year in tampa unless we actually go crazy i highly doubt it but let's see and there we what happened in glass now how is he 33 and a 77 overall oh the rays the falling kingdom what happened dude they're getting david fletcher i do like that move but and there we go we're signing a little bit of guys tukey as well but please torkelson do not sign a contract don't do it at all we hit arbitration but normally they can extend you during arbitration don't just don't do it let's see if he did please take my advice please take my advice and don't do it there we go all right we're looking a lot better making 4.4 million this year and then we're gonna get paid next year and just to go back to it because i did pick the tigers for this franchise we are 30th overall with the 30th best pitching and the 29th in contact we had everybody ready to go and look at what this turned into actually makes me sick to see what they gave up but either way coming into this year again the rays are looking just a little bit different they got david fletcher they got Tuki, they got Hazel cesardo nick solak back on the rays jameson tyon as well okay let's see how this year goes for us again the last year for spencer as long as he does not sign a contract Let's see how we do. Now in the last year of Spencer Torkelson, the Rays decided to go all in. Now we got Danny Jansen coming over here. I really don't get it. Also, J.P. Crawford for Chris Bryant. That's also some wild things I never thought I'd see. But again, right now the Rays are doing good, 56 and 41. And let's see if Torkelson really is that type of dude where he's just gonna go off all of a sudden just because he's gonna get a bag next year. Also, what a surprise. Tyler Glass now goes to a different team and does amazing, literally. Has not lost the game at 74 overall. It makes no sense. He's 33 years old and he's doing that terrible. Actually, never mind. It makes perfect sense. The guy. I hit 10 years of MLB service time and now he's dead basically hey at least he's still doing good first base jared walsh but on the bench is he here and of course he is there we go look at torkelson dude 22 home runs 61 rbis and a 330 basically he's that type of guy okay i get it i understand at the end of the year the tigers finish off i really don't even care about 52 and 110 that's the 2021 orioles and the 2021 diamondbacks either way the rays finish off 91 and 71 how did we do did we take the division please i highly doubt it but come on and we did oh my god what happened to the blue jays oh we're back baby okay the a at least fell off completely but we are back awards real quick please tell me Corey seager by the way oh my god winning the hank aaron award every single year but tell me at first base that we got the silver slugger come on please tell me right here and nope vladdy took it first base is so competitive especially with someone like vladdy one of the best in the entire game it's not gonna be easy to get awards like that but either way this year spencer is up to a 92 overall and we got 36 bombs 113 rbis and a 330 basically i'm running everything up i don't care really Basically, 324. Still amazing, though. Look at all the upgrades to the hitting stats. A plus 8, a plus 5, a plus 5, minus 5 to left. He's so hot and cold with the left. But plus 5 with discipline, plus 1 with clutch. Also, the durability. That's going to be huge for us. At 96. If we do good in the postseason as well, we're going to be looking for that 20 plus million a year. And never mind. The Rays immediately, just like the last time, got swept in the ALDS. How the heck does that keep happening to us? Shane Boz, Michael King did absolutely terrible. A gigantic yikes all around. 
and Spencer didn't do that great either. Okay, it's time, bro. Go to a different team, preferably the Padres, as they just beat the Angels in 2027. Off season, this is gonna be freaking huge as Joey Votto just now retired. What a legend, dude. Oh my God. All right, let's go and send to free agency and let's take a look. Is Spencer gonna be here? Please tell me it. And he is, and right now the Rays are giving this dude a garbage contract. But also, look how stacked this entire free agency is. In 2027, we got J-Rod, we got Alec Manoa, Yon Mankata, we got Josiah Gray, got Luis, got Kyber, got Torgelson, got Manny Machado for his last contract, got Garrett Crochet, got Shane Boz as well, Katar Marte. All right, Torque, where the heck are you going? It should pop up on the ticker as well right here. So Torgelson, we're just gonna be waiting for you, baby. Where the heck are we going next? It was a decent time with the Rays. I didn't really enjoy it all that much, but let's hope the next team's gonna be better if we actually don't sign back with the Rays. Torque, show me where we're going, baby. What's taking so long? He's one of the last guys ready to go, and it is looking like he is not gonna sign a good contract, at least for what he's interested in. The Mets, the Padres, and the Rays are currently the three teams super interested. But bro, it's about to be 2028, and Spencer does not have a new team, I don't think. He literally doesn't. Are we actually gonna be waiting this entire time? He's gotta sign this month. There's no way we're not going to. Akil Badu going to the Nationals. Taylor Walls going to the Angels. Oh my God, we're really waiting this thing out. Gavin Sheets signed before us. Torkelson, there's no way we're not gonna wait this long, bro. There's no shot. We're in February now. He's still waiting. Honestly, I appreciate the balls, but he is still going. Dude, you gotta sign. It's almost the preseason. Ketel Marte going to the Dodgers and Torkelson going to the Astros. Really? Houston's gonna have a lot of problems. They're gonna be having home runs going all over the freaking city. What the heck is Houston even looking like too? Like I have to see. We got, oh my goodness. I love what Torkelson is thinking. Alex Bregman, Josiah Gray, Torkelson, Andrew Vaughn, Dylan Carlson, Alejandro Kirk, legend, Tyler Stevenson, Julio, Lance McCullers, Trent Grisham, by the way, Kyle Lewis. I love what he's thinking. All right, Torque, good job, baby. Honestly, good work waiting all that time. Let's see how Houston treats us for this year. The lineup is stacked as we're hitting leadoff, by the way. Let's get it going. I cannot wait for this year. You guys could probably tell I'm a lot more hype. We finally got an above average squad. Let's hope that we can actually do well above average this year as we are off to a very cold start. But by the end of the year, I feel like we're going to be in a pretty good spot. Let's go ahead and get to it. Oh, and that's nice to see. We finished off 96 and 66, taking the AL West easily. And the Athletics are the only guys behind us. The Angels made it to the World Series last year, and they are in last place in the AL West. But realistically, how did we do a 93 overall for us now? And oh, baby. Okay. Yeah. Another pretty average season for him. But the reason why he's getting paid so much money is because this is his average, at least within the last couple of years. Again, not as great as in 2027, but the dude is fighting for a bag. You know, that's just how it is. Let's see if we can help them beat the Red Sox in the ALDS. It is time, baby. Josiah Gray versus Freddie Peralta for game one and lost that one by one. Jose versus Corbin Martin lost that one as well. Don't tell me. Don't tell me. Julio Urias versus James McDonald. And oh, come on. I'm convinced at this point, we're just cursed for the playoffs. And the Red Sox beat the Cubs in 2028. Either way, again, 2029 back here with the Astros after a super disappointing year last year. Let's hope that we can make it a little bit better this year. That truly is all I care about. Let's just make it better than last. 569 seconds later. End of the year 2029, the Houston Astros finish off 90 and 72. And please tell me we're at least going to get a silver slugger this year. Or at least make it in the top three. Let's take a look. Catcher and first base. No, but Vladdy, Pete Alonso, but we got third. A 277, 35 home runs and 98 RBIs on the year. And we are not looking good against lefties. Oh no. Oh, we're approaching 10 years. That's why. The MLB service time and the progression is about to kill us. We only have a couple seasons left before we are done. Literally, we'll be done by like 34 years old. So we got to make a Cinderella push now if we want to get him a ring. Versus the Yankees, please tell me we can win this one. And we do. Beautiful. Okay, now facing the Orioles. Oh my God. Jose versus Emerson Hancock. Lost that one. Edward versus Grayson. Won that one. Julio versus Manny. Won that one as well. And then Josiah versus Simon. There we are, baby. The first time in Spencer Torkelson's career that we are going to the ALCS. That's crazy. Both the Texas teams are here as well. All right. Houston versus Texas. Jose versus Mackenzie Gore. Won that one. Josiah Gray versus Lewis List. That's a baseball name right there. Josiah, come on. Lost that one by two. Edward Cabrera versus Jack Leiter. Lost that one by two. Julio versus Cole Wynn. Won that one. Bring it back. Lance McCullers versus Bobby Miller. Won that one. And then Josiah Gray. Come on. Beat McKenzie right here for the World Series. Or not. And then Jose versus Lewis. Oh my. Come on. Bring back the trash cans. Texas better win. They're facing the Cubs again. Let's see how they do. The Cubs have been there like five times, it feels like. Are they going to win? Right now, it's two to three. McKenzie's got to bring this thing to a game six. And he doesn't. The Cubs win versus the Rangers. In 2030, Torque is going to be entering the last three years of his contract. And I really, really hope he's not going to be a 70 by the time it's done. I am very, very nervous about it. But let's see what happens. 2030, start of the new decade. Let's try our best to start this thing off strong. At the trade line right now, Houston, 63 and 47. We're looking very, very good. But is it good enough? We are at the top by about two and a half games. 
games. But the only thing that I really truly worry about with the Astros is the rotation. Again, Josiah Gray, amazing. Edward, very, very good as well. But everybody else, not good. Not good at all. Like, if they just got two more pitchers, they're winning the World Series. I can guarantee it. But I really don't think they're going to do it. And oh, God, the Astros, 84 and 78. I don't know if we made it with that. I don't think we did. No, we didn't. Are you serious, bro? We choked it that bad. The Rangers came back so heavy. And we lost out in the wild card by four games. And really, the thing that sucks the most about it is that Torkelson had a career season. Besides the last year in Tampa Bay, this is the greatest he's done. 32 doubles, 38 home runs, 108 RBIs with a 310 on the average. Not to mention slugging, looking amazing. OPS, one of the highest of his entire career and a 6.7 war. This was so freaking close to being amazing. But even that wasn't good enough to take us to the wild card. That freaking hurts as the Twins beat the Marlins in 2030. They're having a mid-off right now. This game gets crazy once you get at least five plus years in the future. 2031 and coming up on year nine of Spencer Torgelson in the MLB. We finish off 84 and 78 after losing to not only the Rangers, but also the A's. It is official that Torgelson has hit year 10 and he put in another fantastic season, baby. This year, a lot more home runs and doubles. He's taking the gap shots that he normally was hitting and just hitting them over the wall. The guy is still stealing 16, 15 bags for whatever reason. This year, though, got caught way more than a 6.4 war to end off the year. Again, a great year from Torgelson. Unfortunately, not back into the playoffs. That's the thing that sucks so bad about it. As the Red Sox beat the Pirates in 2031. It's insane. As we lose out on Mike Trout and Freddie Freeman to the Hall of Fame. Congratulations, boys. But wow, Torkelson is officially the top guy on the Astros. Not to mention this year in 2032, going to be heading into his final year of his contract. At 32 years old, this is going to be the last shot he gets at money. He's already completely fined $100 plus million in his entire net worth, but still. But I need my boy to get paid one last time and to go to a team that would be like the equivalent to the Buccaneers. Signing as many people as possible to get us to that World Series just to end off the career. That's what I'm looking for. So please, Spencer, do what's right. Again, a quick little update on the Tigers. They are still 30th. 30th in contact, 29th in power, 30th in pitching, 29th in defense, and second in speed. It seems like that GM is still there, which is unfortunate for them. Let's get the year going as long as we're still in the Astros. Again, they could have made a trade. I really have no clue. Let's see. And they didn't. Okay, we're still here. But we are an aging squad. Oh, God. The median of this team is 32 years old. That is never a good sign. We're only going to get worse, and we are on fire to start the year. Look at that, dude. Oh. How has every single team we've been on just been so good at the start, but then immediately trash? Except for the Tigers, because I don't even count them anymore. They're not even a real MLB team to me. Again, all the potential in the world. They gave up all of it. Absolutely 100% of it. Speaking of giving up so much potential, we are 40 and 60 on the Astros. Please trade us. 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 And I don't think it's going to happen. Possibly in the 23rd hour. Nope. We are stuck. Okay. Torgelson, though, for his last year, he has lost three overall points, but he's still doing amazing. Let's see how the Astros end up finishing off. The Tigers back at a 49 and 113, but the Astros as well, 79 and 83. Dude, really? Also, somehow I missed it. My bad. Spencer Torgelson won the MVP, so he at least got one in 2031. Again, I'm so sorry I missed that, but I'm happy that he got it. All right, Torgelson, where are you going this year, baby? Where the heck are you going to go? He realistically could sign another contract. I just don't see it personally. Like, if I'm him, I am getting out immediately. So let's see. Wander Franco is in free agency. Oh my God. He's going to make 172 over five, by the way. Holy crap. But first base and Torkelson is still here, but it looks like we're going to go back. Don't you dare go back. Somebody beat them out. Please God, don't tell me we're going back unless we're signing a bunch of pitchers. That's the only way. Put that in my contract. If we sign a bunch of pitchers, I am fine. But if we don't, I want out. And from what I'm seeing, it does not look like we're getting out of there. Boys, unfortunately, I think we signed back. It's time to see. Come on. And we did sign back. Oh man. I don't think he's going to win a World Series. I really don't. Again, there's always that possibility, but it's not looking like a good possibility right now. Oh my God, boys, Houston might be back. And we are 86 and 76. It's still not great, but we finished off a lot better. Also, look at Torkelson coming in second place for the average on the entire AL. Coming in fifth time with Wander Franco for the hits. What about batting war? Come on, baby. And okay, 10th in the entire league. Not bad at all. 6.4. We'll take it with 26 home runs and 90 RBIs as well. But again, 87 overall. He is going down. Age 33 at 12 years already. Everything's going to start getting terrible pretty soon. He's minus sixes, minus fives. Unfortunately, he is on the downward slope. Let's just hope that this is the year. Versus the Guardians, Edward Cabrera versus Manny and...
Every time. I wish it wasn't like that, but every time we lose it. Honestly, Torkelson did as much as he could. One home run, two RBIs, hit a 200, but still. Had the home run in the RBIs, everybody else just let the team down pretty much. Again, super unfortunate. The A's beat the Phillies in 2033. And again, since we signed that contract, let's get back to 2034. Another year, and somehow the Tigers have gotten worse. 30th in everything, and now 25th in speed. I like the Tigers. They're a very, very good team as of right now in present day, but no fan deserves what they're doing to their team over the past 10 players plus years. And trade line right here, we are 47 and 60. And let's take a look at Torkelson. Please don't be like a 78. Please, Tork, don't tell me where did he go. Guys, where the heck is Torkelson? Don't tell me. Don't tell me he's on the injured list. Where the heck is he? He is not on the injured list. Did they trade him? And he went to the Reds. Oh my God. For Anthony, Tom, and Floyd. I have no clue who any of those guys are because now at this point, they're just randomly generated. But he's on the Reds now. I right, to the NL Central, we go. 53 and 53. We'll take that. That's a little bit better. And we're 83 overall. Guys. God dang it. Let's hope that we can at least support the Reds on their potential playoff push. And let's hope for the best on the new team. Come on. Oh, and I'm liking the Reds. 92 and 70, we finish out. Torgelson finished off with, again, another pretty solid season. He's 82 overall, but still very good for him. Now, let's just hope that we can get him his ring here. Versus Miami in the 2034 NLDS. Alejandro versus Arnold, won that one. James versus Max, won that one as well. And then Brian versus McAble, won that one. Perfect. All right, NLCS versus the Giants. Okay. The Giants have been busy. I know that. I've been seeing them a lot. Alejandro versus Stan Hogan, lost that one. James McDonald versus Troy, lost that one as well by one, both of them. Brian versus Reed Detmers, oh no. Okay, won that one somehow. Jason versus Rodden, won that one, 2-2. Two, two. Chase Petty versus Ramon, lost that one again by one. Alejandro versus Stan, and we lost it again in the NLCS. Tell me Torkelson did good though. There we go. All right, I like that. But people like Dylan Dingler did not. And honestly, it was just super close games. Giants, you taking this? And they do. They beat the Mariners. All right, well, I'm happy that we're on a new team. 2035 Reds, let's sign some people, all right? Let's go. Oh my God, and they do. Fritz Knapp, all right? So let's go Reds, 2035. Let's get it, baby. In August right now, the Reds are 16 53. How's our boy Torque doing, though? He is not here again. Don't you dare tell me he's moving again for the second time in a row. Does he have an injury? And he doesn't. Oh boy. Please God have this guy on a good team. Yeah, they literally traded him. He's not here. Okay, to the transactions we go. Let's see what that happened here. Go to the Reds, go to the trades, and he is on the Angels now. Okay. For Matt Brash. That was back in June. Wow. I was completely off. Okay. Let's go out to LA. A team with Jack Leiter, by the way. Was a five year array. That's not the best look. The one problem with the Angels, though, how is their pitching? And it could be better, but it could be a lot worse. All right, Angels, I'm down to get it going. We're back in the AL West. Let's see how we do. Literally one minute later. In 2035, we finish off at 90 and 72 once again and take it on the Blue Jays in the ALDS. And a 35-year-old Spencer Torkelson came in fourth in the AL for hits. Not to mention tied for ninth with 29 home runs. And what about that war now that we're a DH? How's that looking? I don't think we're going to be in the top 10. We're definitely not. What about top 20? Still no. Okay. We're 38. A 3.9 still very very good, but wow. All right, back in the postseason, another opportunity to get us a ring. Let's go. Jack Leiter versus Henry for game one. Lost that one. Hunter Green versus Todd. It's it's already chalked. It's already chalked. I already feel it. And yep, there it is. Oh my God. There's no way this is real. There's no way. For the 2035 Hall of Fame, we got Alex Bregman going there after hitting 532 home runs, 2,600 hits. A fantastic career from the boy. But that is going to be it for 2035. Now Spencer's heading into his age 36 season, which is going to be crazy. But back in the Angels 2036, let's get it going and let's hope that we're not traded this year for the third year in a row. 2036 trade line, we are 50 and 59. Oh, man. I wish it was different. I've been sitting here for three hours, but bro, come on. Are we serious? And Torgelson is now officially on the bench. Bench. Oh man, is this really the end? He's also in his contract year. Oh God, don't tell me this is the end, guys. Don't tell me. I still feel like we have more to do. And I can already tell we are out of postseason contention. And Torgelson's now a free agent at 36 years old. Man, that's not good. Diamondbacks defeat the Rays in 2036. And now it looks like we're going to be going into free agency with Torgelson. The 2036 inductees, we got Boba Shet, Carlos Correa, and Rafael Devers. All right, offseason, where is Spencer going to go if he's going to go anywhere? A 71 overall, ready to go wherever anyone will take him. Again, a pretty decent season in 2036, but I don't know if anybody's going to take the risk for whatever reason. Let's see what that happens. I'll see you guys back here at opening day, and let's hope these on a team. And here we are, 2037, opening day. Torque, where you at, baby? And he's a free agent. Man, I think that might be it for a career. I'll see you guys whenever Spencer Torkelson retires. Let's go ahead and get to it. The end of 2040, we finish off 68-94 again. And for the age 40 season, how did Spencer Torkelson do? He's a 39 overall. Bro, no shot. You're actually there. The stats look like he went all the way down to the ground. <laughs> yeah. Oh my 
He's dead. SDS killed the dude. This is what murder looks like in this game. Minus 13, minus 20, minus 16, minus 30 to discipline. Oh my God, minus 33 on the fielding, minus 27 on the reaction, minus one on speed. How does that work? He's gotta be done. There's no shot you're gonna keep going. And there he is, he's gone. Age is taken out Spencer Torgelson and yo, it's been a great career up until the very end when he died. But Spencer, it has been a pleasure. Let's hope that you make it to the Hall of Fame. Come on, let's see right here. This is the time and he did, let's go. 40 inductees, Pete Alonso, Bryce Harper, Spencer Torkelson, baby. To finish off his career, out of 9,907 at-bats, had 2,816 hits, 417 home runs, 1,390 RBIs, with 234 stolen bases for a first baseman, and a career 284 average. Spencer, again, enjoy retirement, my dude. Enjoy the Hall of Fame. It's been a pleasure. Hey, that's crazy. He made it to the Hall of Fame. Let's go. But again, super happy for him. If you guys want to see more of these career simulations, then be sure to tell me that down in the comments comment down below as many players as you want to see and we'll try to get to it again 1500 likes and we're getting closer and closer to 60k so be sure to hit that sub button hope you guys have a great rest of the day and peace out